Hey everybody, it is Club Derby Times, Umbro Valley Bassmasters two-day tournament uh, here in September and we're fishing Big Stone Lake, which is pig stone. It's got a lot of big fish in it. It's on the border of South Dakota and Minnesota and this is a two-day tournament. So uh, my partner both days, uh, we're fishing separately, but he's in my boat is Tim Allen. And for those of you who aren't aware of who Tim is, uh, if you've ever fished or seen a video from the uh, Dick Kiley St. Jude Bass Classic, Tim is the official starter, lets the boats go off. Can you give us one of your infamous, go! <laughs> uh, so uh, everybody seems to love that and uh, uh, Tim's a good time. We, uh, we fished yesterday and uh, I ended up winning yesterday i had uh, 19 and a half pounds and uh, also had big bass so it was like a 5.8 and uh tim had four for four should have had five for like nine and a half ten pounds should have had five um we've been fishing quite a bit uh, we're getting towards the end of day two here but uh, uh it's really blowing yesterday it was calm it's really blowing today so it's a lot tougher to fish um i've got one big one uh, that you'll see here in a little bit and um, uh, but the fish size overall size just isn't as good as as yesterday Tim's got three right now but uh, we've still got a few more hours of fish and here are all the fish catches right now fish Big wall, I do. Oh, nice walleye. Yes, it is. Started the day off right. <laughs> Big boy. Another big boy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. He is another big boy. Not what we're after, but they're big. Bass? No, oh, is it? No, northern. Nope. Oh. Big northern. <laughs> that's holy. That's the big one of the, of the tournament. Oh. 
I think that may be my biggest northern there. Oh my god, that's huge. Look at the mouth on that thing. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Holy cow. Dink. That's not like the ones we were catching yesterday. Uh, that might. But it's a bite. Say what? It's a bite. That's. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, a little. I believe he's 12 inches, but... Jeez. He's almost 14 inches. Yeah. Yeah. Decent. Not that big. <laughs> I had to guide him through the yeah. bars and everything. Well, that's five. Caught one right here yesterday. today yeah monkey yeah. helps though Good one. Oh, I come off. 
You gotta be me. God. Better than I, anything I had in there. He had it for a while too. I just looked, my line was sideways. God. It's a bass. That helps. Okay. Oh, yeah. Feels a little heavier. Well, <laughs> he's pretty short. He helps, but I was thinking he was a three pounder. I ain't even a three pounder. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's a good one. Yes, it is. I think this is the best fish I caught all the feet. Heck yeah. Sounds good. Timmy got another big one. Decent one. Get in here. Oh yeah. That one. Three pounder. That one I didn't even crank it hit just as it hit the water. Really? Oh, that's a three and a half probably. Come on, don't just do that. I swallowed it too. No, nah, it's just where the There it is. Nice one. Yeah. Big one. Big one. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's a nice fatty. That looks like the same size as the <laughs> That looks like another five something. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Yeah, buddy. That's a beauty there. That's a that's pushing five and a half, I think. I don't know compared to yesterday. It looks similar in the net. Let's find out. Gotta see which one I gotta get rid of anyway. You got a fish? 493. Close the ball. Uh, there you go. I need I need two more, so I ain't fishing at the moment. Yeah, double. One on a dock and one fishing on the other side of the boat in the weeds. How big is it? Let me see. Nah, it's Show only, with the it's camera. It's only a keeper. Oh yeah. But two something. Yeah. Two pounder, two and a quarter. Nice. Broke. Why? 
That's straight braid. Tim. Got something in there? Yeah, my hook's in the in his gut. There's one. No. Don't help. Another one? Broke. Oh, bar again. No. That helps. Half a pound. Well, that's it for uh, day two of our two-day tournament uh, for the Zumbro Valley Bassmasters Club out at Big Stone Lake in Ortonville, Minnesota on the South Dakota border. Uh, it's too bad I forgot my GoPro in the uh, truck for day one because I killed them on day one, won the tournament uh, for day one with 19 and a half pounds and one big bass with one that was five and a quarter or five and three quarters. Uh, day two was a whole different story uh, weather-wise. The wind blew. Uh, it was sustained 30 mile per hour winds with uh, a lot of gusts over 40. And it started blowing pretty much uh, within the first hour of the day. And then it blew all day and it was blowing right down the lake and it was tough to find anywhere to fish. And it was uh, rough waters you saw there, uh, just getting around on the lake. Uh, I was glad I had my, uh, my Lund Pro V bass cause that uh, slices through those waves like butter. But uh, uh, it was uh, it was tough fishing. It was tough for everybody, but um, uh, I finished in uh, third place for day two. I had uh, <clears throat> had uh, uh, just shy of 15 pounds and uh, just missed out on big bass for day two at a 4.81, and big bass was 4.86, I believe. 
but uh, it was tough for everybody. Uh, my uh, partner for the two days, Tim, uh, he caught uh, four fish on day one, and then day two, uh, he caught three and that were around nine pounds. So he had uh, like a three pound average. He had some nice ones, but um, uh, some guys didn't catch limits on uh, on day two because uh, the wind was just tough. So, uh, but I, I love fishing uh, Big Stone Lake. It's a lot like uh, my lakes around here in Southern Minnesota, shallow, it's kind of dirty, grimy, um, but there's big fish in that lake. So uh, primarily, uh, caught uh, most of my fish for the two days uh, throwing a swim jig uh, through the weeds and uh, some on a chatterbait um, also caught some flipping and then uh, and then fishing docks was uh, how I caught the two big ones for the two days so um, there's quite a few docks on the lake a lot of them had fish and a lot of them didn't have fish so uh, you just had to kind of weed through them but uh, really enjoy going there, and um, I'm sure I'll be back uh, at least to do some fun fishing uh, sometime. It's a great time of year to be up there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great day.